Hi, my name is Julia Fox and we are doing Fashion Police with Capital Extra. So for my book cover of Down the Drain, it was actually my brainchild. I created, directed it, and I knew what I wanted. We created a silver tube out of pretty much like tin foil, I think it was, and just wrapped it around me to make it look like I was falling down the drain. And of course, my best friend and stylist, Brianna Andalor, styled me for it, and my other best friend, Richie Shazam, shot me for it. So it was a family affair. The inspiration for the look was just to look wet, like I was actually falling down a drain. Yeah, and I guess I just want people to feel like they're slipping and going down into like an alternate dimension, because that's what I feel the book is like, because you're going into the depths of my brains. Alice in Wonderland when she falls down the rabbit hole. So this is my homage to that. I give it 500 stars. Ooh, I love this look. Brianna styled me for this look. Um, and the inspiration was just, I don't know, it's just like a body bag. It's cool. Oh my God, and those shoes, they're so high. They're so hard to walk in. I probably fell like 10 times trying to get this picture, but it's okay. And it's, oh, it's by a designer called Michael Kale and he is a genius, clearly. And I'm gonna give this look a five out of five. <laughs> this look, when the fox eye was launched, this is Schiaparelli. And the inspiration behind this look was just like dominatrix, fetishy, um, super villain kind of vibe that I love. I don't know what reaction I was expecting, to be honest. I was like really just, fight or flight during this time. So I didn't, I wasn't really like absorbing what was happening. I was just like, don't think, just do. That was my motto at the time. I do wish I hadn't worn those earrings. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five for the, the earrings, but the rest of it is pretty bad. <laughs> I don't think people were ready for this look. I love clown core. I think clowns are not respected in society as much as they should be. They are a very key part, key part of our culture. She's fab. This look is Vaquera. It's so sexy, but I do wish I hadn't worn the cap. I don't think it needed the cap. I think it was great without, and I do wish that I would have had more time to maybe do a different eye, like a clown eye as makeup. It would really bring it home, I think. For the hat and not having the right makeup, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Oh, I love this look. This look makes me wanna get married again, but I'm not dumb enough. It's Wiederhoff, who is an amazing designer based in New York. The inspiration behind this look was just being the Wiederhoff bride, which is, Major. I don't, I don't have this look. I don't own it, it was borrowed. <laughs> I'm gonna give this look a five out of five. It's really beautiful. Oh, this look. This was a long time ago. I don't hate it, but now that I'm looking at it, it feels very mature and very matronly, which is fine, but could have maybe been a little more playful and not so like stiff. I'm gonna give this look a three out of five. Um, because the jewelry was really stunning um, and the bag was not. <gasps> oh, my leaf dress. This was ama an amazing um, endeavor. Took a lot of tries to get those leaves to behave. <laughs> I made this with my bestie Emma, who is an artist, and she works with resin a lot, so I knew I could call her to bring my, my vision to life. I'm going to give this look a five out of five for creativity, even though it is not very functional, but I had a lot of fun making it. I love upcycling, and I think anything can be clothes, so. Oh my God, I love this look. This look is really important because it's like the first time I've worn pink in a decade. I need to wear more pink. I think pink is really punk rock. Brianna styled me for it, of course, and I love dogs. So I love this little poodle, and I'm gonna give it four out of five because I don't think my hair worked for this look, but it's still really cute, so four out of five. Oh, I love this look. This is this look is a 10, a 10 out of five. This is my my 
my white face makeup. <laughs> I had like an hour to do this makeup too, and I just did it like with no reference photo, like just went for it. The inspiration was like, well, I was in Washington for like some White House situation, so I wanted to channel um, presidents of the past and they used to powder their faces. I'm gonna give this look a, a 10 out of five because this was really beautiful and I think have fun and do something different. I feel like a lot of at these kinds of events, people just like look boring and I wanted to not be boring. Oh my God, my first like real red carpet. This is Paco Rabanne. Um, I remember stepping out of the car and my team was just like, what is she wearing? I wanted to really own this moment, my first carpet, my first movie. Hollywood, baby. I'm gonna give this look a five out of five. I don't love the red lip, but it's okay. I'll, I'll make an exception because this is, this is a really big moment in my life that I'll never forget. Oh, <laughs> this look. This look was Schiaparelli. The pants actually belonged to the designer of Schiaparelli, Daniel, and we literally took them off of his body. I think overall it's, it's a really strong look and I think it really brought denim to a whole new level. And I'm gonna give this look a four out of five because I, whenever I look at these photos, I just my eyes go straight to the earrings and it throws me off. This look, this looks made entirely out of, I think, silicone, I wanna say. I don't know what the in inspiration was behind this look, but to be honest, like, I just thought it was cool, it was different, it was silicone, and I don't, I don't love the, how the, it all came out, though. It, there, I didn't really put a lot of thought and care into putting this outfit together. I think it could have been way better. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five, but the, just the dress is a 10. It's me, I'm the problem. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a trip down memory lane with me. Just have fun with your clothes, guys. It's really not that serious. You don't have to spend a fortune to be the best dressed girl in the room.